Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm so excited to be making today's video because we are talking about the national costume competition for Miss Grand International 2022. I need to get right into this, otherwise this video is going to be a million years long. We are going to be discussing each and every single national costume from this year's competition, which is about 68. So let's just get right into it, starting with Angola. Angola wore this sort of white ensemble for peace, I suppose, and I sort of rolled my eyes when I saw this because, of course, with what's happening in the world right now, I was expecting a couple of peace costumes, and trust me, the girls delivered on the peace and the white peace inspired costumes i just felt like if anyone was supposed to be wearing something inspired by peace it was ukraine and ukraine actually surprised us with something else so i wasn't too much of a fan of angola's costume to be honest when it came to argentina she did something inspired by the tango it was red it was okay i suppose i just thought that it would have been a bit better without the hat when Australia came up, I was pleasantly surprised by Australia's costume. I thought this was really cute and I liked that the little bird that she was carrying in her hand had motorized wings that could actually flap. When it came to Belarus, I was a bit disappointed in the wings of her costume. I mean, they felt a bit like art and crafty, if I'm going to be honest. And her hat also fell off at the end of her performance. And with Belarus, I thought that the birds on her costume were a nice touch. I just felt like it was a bit big. I felt like she was going to fall over. Her performance wasn't really um, that stable in this costume, if I can say that. But the outfit itself, I feel like for Belarus, we've seen this outfit, you know? I thought that Belgium's costume was actually really, really cute. I thought that this costume was such a cute yellow canary costume. Yellow just stands out so much. With Bolivia, I felt like her costume was really intricate and nicely detailed, but the skirt was so stiff. I feel like she she couldn't like perform nicely in it. With Brazil, it's the same. I felt like her costume was so gorgeous. Her performance was really good as well, but the skirt was a bit stiff. I wish these women, instead of using like crinoline or sort of cages or whatever they used to make the skirt poofy, I wish they would just layer up on skirt to make the movement a bit more authentic and natural. Cambodia's costume was so badass, like the bull with the coffee. I love coffee guys, so she had me with the coffee as well. This costume was just so badass. Her performance really brought it as well. I loved Cambodia. For Canada, honestly, I was just glad to not see Canada in something uh, red, white, or maple leaf inspired for once. For Chile, uh, I thought I thought that for Chile, her costume was a bit underwhelming for me. Her shoes were also way too big for her, which was a bit distracting. China's costume I thought was classic. I also really liked the way that the dragon's tail was moving when she walked. And Colombia's costume really just wowed me. I love this with the lots of flower detail and then when she picked up the little flap thing it said stop the war and they, there was other details underneath the flap. Colombia's costume was just inspiring and just surprising all the way. Costa Rica had another peace inspired costume although this one is a bit more inventive than Angola's costume. Crimea's costume I actually thought was really nicely made so no complaints there. For Cuba, I felt like her costume was just not really giving. It felt a bit half done. I mean, this is Miss Grand International. Go big or go home. Curacao was performing her entire heart out on that stage. Unfortunately, I just didn't think that her costume was grand enough to match her performance. Czech Republic, I couldn't, like, her costume was beautiful and gold and whatever, but she did, like, this contortionist act on stage, which I thought was kind of cool. And Denmark was apparently supposed to be a swan, but uh, she was basically just wearing a white gown and flapping it about. For Dominican Republic, really, I was just underwhelmed because we usually see such great costumes from Dominican Republic. I really needed more from her. For Ecuador, I love a good Phoenix costume, don't get me wrong. And the costume was good for me, but the wings really left something to be desired. I just, I felt like the wings could have been 
better. El Salvador's costume actually looked really high quality but I just wonder whether or not those black gloves were really necessary because they sort of distracted. With France, uh, I swear guys, I don't want to out myself here but I swear I've seen that headpiece, that exact headpiece on Sheen, I swear. Germany did not come to play with this costume. I just wish that the wheels on the thing that she was dragging behind her were better concealed because it just, it took you out of the moment, you know? With Ghana, oh my gosh guys, I am in love with Ghana's costume because I just felt like it was so beautiful and, you know, it's just a gorgeous costume all around and the way she performed she was so regal like a queen i don't know everything about ghana's costume just worked for me guatemala's costume was so gorgeous this costume literally made my brain release dopamine it was so i just thought this was such a beautiful costume when it came to haiti haiti had another peace costume it was unfortunately not as good as Costa Rica's. Honduras, uh, she, honestly, she just did the most with this. And you'll need like four or five hours just to see everything that's going on here. In my opinion, this is like bordering on too much going on. And then on the flip side with Hong, Hong Kong, I felt like she had too little going on. I feel like there's a little balance that you have to try and achieve when it comes to national costume between too much and too little. And I definitely thought that Hong Kong was on the too little side. Oh, guys, uh, not India showing up in a tiger onesie. This could have been, just this could have been really, really good. But the fit of that onesie just ruined India's entire look for me. With Indonesia, she brought this entire huge like set on stage with her. And I'm just, I'm so over these sets, guys, that the girls bring and then they step out of it and then they do their performances. Because I don't consider bringing a whole freaking set as part of your costume. As for Indonesia's costume and her performances themselves, they were really nice and it just i'm just so over the whole freaking set being wheeled in it's not part of the costume that's a set if you can't carry it and you can't wear it it's it's not part of your costume as for ireland ugh, guys i'm just so over sport costumes they're boring please just get them out of my sight with italy italy's costume was definitely giving like Christmas, it was definitely giving like Yassified Santa's little helper elf. But Jamaica, I thought that her costume was a bit simplistic, but her body, guys, was to die for. And her movements were so mesmerizing. And when it came to Japan, I feel like we've seen this egg thing from Vietnam, I think at Miss Universe in the past. Japan's whole performance also left much to be desired with south korea you know what i have no complaints it's it's a classic it's it's classic we've seen this from korea but it doesn't it doesn't offend my eyes so i'm letting it slide with laos i don't like that you had to push something around again that's just my own personal thing if you can't wear it and you can't carry it it's not part of your costume but I felt like her her whole thing that she had going on was nice anyway. And then with Malaysia, I thought that she had a beautiful costume. But the little stuffed tiger that she was holding in her hand ruined it for me. Because, because the stuffed tiger is such low detail and it's not intricate, uh, intricate at all. But then again, uh, in contrast with her costume, her costume is so detailed, so gorgeous, so intricate. So I don't know, this... Stuff Tiger just ruined it for me. With Mauritius, again, what is her costume really without the dodo set that she wheeled in on? With Mexico, I actually really liked her costume. I also liked the fact that she could move so smoothly in it despite these things coming around her head. With Mongolia, you know what? It did what it said on the box. I liked her costume as well. With Mozambique, guys, I was I was a bit sad about Mozambique because had she actually worn the actual materials that are being worn 
in Mozambique, like like not synthetic materials, if she was wearing the natural counterparts of the things that she was wearing, this would have been so good because um, she came and performed her freaking hot out. Mozambique came and gave a performance. So if her costume matched the quality of her performance, that would have been amazing. But unfortunately, the synthetic like materials that she was wearing, instead of wearing the actual natural materials that would be worn, just completely ruined it for me. But 10 out of 10 for her performance. For Myanmar, Myanmar definitely delivered. I love a costume with a surprise. This could, this could well be best national costume if I'm being honest with you. When it came to Nepal, I thought this was a nice concept. It was just a shame that the feathers came across as such low quality. Netherlands was wearing a blue evening gown, that's it, moving on. Nicaragua wore a sport costume, but it was like a yassified sport costume. She almost hurts herself and she almost whacked the back of her costume off while swinging that bat multiple times. Nigeria's costume, I don't know where I've seen this before. It looked very familiar, but it was large and wonderful nonetheless. But when it came to Pakistan, oh, this it was just a bit uninspiring and you know what it is i think it's because um miss pakistan was so nervous panama came out like a gorgeous golden goddess oh guys i'm like a crow show me something shiny and i am yours guys when it came to paraguay i almost died i am such a history nerd i am so such a history nerd and i loved i love paraguay's costume this is just so i want to be buried in this it's so beautiful peru again such a beautiful golden costume really nobody does natcos like the south americans i swear philippines i loved philippines costume as well but i don't know why it looked like she was having trouble in those shoes Poland definitely gave a performance. I mean, I'm not too offended by her very stereotypically Polish costume either. So and when it came to Portugal, Portugal, hmm, Portugal was giving thespian the makeup, the movements, everything about Portugal. You can't say, you can't say the woman didn't try. Puerto Rico's costume, guys, this is a costume fit for a queen. It's so gorgeous. I absolutely adored Puerto Rico's costume. With Russia, ugh, guys, Russia, nah, they're in a precarious They're in a very precarious position this year. Russia has has no room for mediocrity this year. Russia should indeed be doing more. She should be doing the most, but unfortunately, she underdelivered. When it comes to Singapore, I have two questions. One, why is the skirt so short? And number two, why are the shoes purple? South Africa came out in a Protea inspired costume. And I just have to say, Demi did this costume. She did a Protea inspired costume for Miss Universe 2017. I feel like Demi's was better if we're going to compare. I feel like some aspects of this costume for South Africa were nice but then again was i wowed like i was with puerto rico not really with sri lanka i just felt like the woman was way too nervous i don't know the performance was kind of awkward thailand oh my goodness i like i love this costume i love this woman I loved her performance. Just Thailand just blew me away in a national costume. This was just so brilliant. With Takea, I loved the performance. Um, the costume was okay too, but I just do. Was she? Is she not supposed to wear shoes? Is that a thing? Are you not supposed to wear shoes with this kind of outfit? Because I kind of feel like you. You don't know what's on the ground these days, guys. You can't just go walking barefoot like you did when you were like a child. It's it's dangerous out here. You never know what kind of oops are lying around on the ground. Uganda, oh my gosh, guys, these wings were not flying for me, unfortunately. And when it came to Ukraine, um, she was wearing uh, yellow and blue. Something was said about being unconquerable, but then again. I feel like if, if, if we're watching the pageant on mute, guys, and you can't hear what the costume is about, 
Will you be able to actually see what the costume is about? That's the question. I feel like Ukraine's costume could have been more poignant than it was. Uh, but unfortunately, I feel like Ukraine underdelivered as well. Okay, so UK, she came in on a set and then she got out of the set and straight up did Lalela Mswane's national costume from Miss Universe 2021. When it came to USA, guys, USA was Tinkerbell. Uh, she was doing like a little, she was sponsored by uh, Disneyland and. Um, <laughs> Not really, that's just the joke. She was thinking about, I thought, listen, okay, first of all, I thought her wings were really nice. But when she started walking with the thing, right, she, <laughs> why was she walking like that? She looked like a hospital patient pushing their drip around. <laughs> Guys, I can't. I can't. With the USA was really too much for me. When it came to Venezuela, guys, I'm, I don't really have any quandaries with Venezuela's uh, outfit or whatever. She gave a great performance as well. But when it came to, lastly, guys, when it came to Vietnam, I thought that her entire thing was really, really cute. But I kind of wish that this huge wheel that she was wearing was motorized. Sort of like Australia's bird was motorized to be permanently flapping its wings. I kind of wish that Vietnam's wheel was motorized to permanently go as well. Because when she was trying to spin it, it didn't really spin that long. It stopped. Uh, a bit underwhelming. Like at the end of the day, I feel like if it was continuously spinning while she was walking, that would have been pretty cool. But yeah, guys, those were my thoughts on all of the national costumes for Miss Grand International 2022. Feel free to let me know you guys' favorites. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And always remember, if you can't carry it or wear it, it's not part of your costume. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.